got an email on Monday from a listener I've been chatting back and forth with for a couple of weeks that just said, this is my problem with feminism. And it had a link to some blog post that a feminist wrote about all the things she's sick of about men. So I read through it, and through most of it, I'm kind of absolutely nodding along with the author, but intermingled with her good points were a couple of points that struck me as indefensible. Stuff like, I'm sick of men thinking they have the right to be attracted to me. So I sent back a response to the listener that basically said, yeah, that's my problem with feminism too. But my response isn't to abandon the label, speak against it, or brush it under the rug. My goal is to steer it back in the direction I think it should be heading. I totally get the frustration a lot of men feel when they see stuff like that. Obviously, if you replaced men with gays or Jews or blacks or any other category of humans, we'd all agree that was socially unacceptable bigotry. And when men point that out, they're treated to a couple weeks of not all men memes that basically ignore the point that they were making. I'm not trying to tell anyone how to speak or what to say, but I'm a firm believer that the vast majority of men are my natural allies in the fight for gender rights. Most men naturally want exactly what I want, equal treatment of the sexes. So when feminists lump men into a single category as the enemy, I feel like it waters down the point and it makes it a hell of a lot harder for our natural allies to line up behind us. But I'm also not naive. I also know that there are plenty of guys out there that talk a good pro-women line when there's a vagina in the room and are all raging misogynists the rest of the time. And those guys love to seize on stuff like the three questionable complaints in that blog post and ignore the other 47 valid points. So when you see this kind of shit, and I'm talking to you guys who don't like feminists, try to keep in mind that if you define a group by the least sensible stuff anyone in that group says, everyone's wrong about everything. If theists went out and found the craziest shit Joe Rogan ever said about religion, then brought it to you demanding an explanation, you probably wouldn't feel all that obligated, even though you and Joe are both atheists. And for what it's worth, I totally agree that all men, and women for that matter, have the right to be attracted to whoever the fuck they care to be attracted to. Anyway, sorry for spending the whole segment on a soapbox, but that point has just been eating away at me all week. So with a solemn promise to get back to covering news stories and making penis jokes next week, I'll hand things back over to Noah and Heath.